I'm not used to my eyes having no makeup on them. So the reason I have no makeup on my eyes is because I am going to be talking about my lash lift experience. So I did get my lash lift done last August um, and I was gonna record it and vlog it and make this video, but then I lost all the footage from when I was at the lash lift place and at the time I was just kind of like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll just make an Instagram highlight and I'll just talk about it on there. But then I got a lot of requests to make this video and I got a lot of questions he sorry, I burped. I got a lot of questions and so I decided to go back to the lash lift place, get mine done, and then refilm the video. So I am gonna show you guys my time at Skinnovation, which is what the lash lift place is called in SF. And she's gonna explain details about the lash lift procedure and I asked her to kind of explain the difference between a lash lift and a perm. And I'll talk about my opinions and everything, my experience after the clip, but I thought it would just be fun to insert this clip now and then go ahead with the rest of the information later. And I thought it'd be better this way because the technician kind of touches base on things that I think are more informative and she's a professional, so it's good to hear information from her and then I'll kind of talk about what I think afterwards. But anyways, I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna go back in time to when I got my lash lift done one month ago. Woo! Hi guys, so I went to do a little bit of cardio and I took the dogs out and now I'm back because I need to go because I have a lash lift appointment. So I'm actually, sorry if you can hear Jack drinking water, but um, I actually have gotten my lashes done by her before um, and I vlogged it, but then I lost all the footage. So I'm gonna go again and vlog and have her explain kind of what a lash lift is and compare it to extensions because I know that's a big question and I know a lot of you guys have monolids so I thought this would be really helpful information if you were trying to choose between lash lifts and extensions. All right, so we are here. Um, it's kind of hard to find so it's on Union Street and then um, when you find it, it's this way. It's like in between these two buildings um, but the numbers to the address are here so you just walk in here and it should be on the left. You'll see a little skin Innovation studio sign and then I guess you just knock or go in knock <laughs> so this is the room it's really really calming and just so nice you just feel really really comfortable so she actually just left to prepare a little bit but um, she's gonna come back and talk a little bit more about a lash lift just so you guys have a professional um, information but I'm not allowed to vlog the actual process of it um, but I thought it would just be helpful for you guys if you want to come here to kind of see the space um, basically what happens um, what I did last time was I just laid down and basically she just applied things to my eyelashes I think she applied about three to four different stuff to my lashes but yeah I'll just have her explain the whole lash lift process and kind of compare it to extensions and everything like that so when she gets back you'll get the info so this is the person doing my lash lift Do you want to introduce yourself uh, my name is Valeria and we're here at Skinnovation Studio where we are proudly offer uni keratin lash lift yeah <laughs> <laughs> I would like to tell you a little bit more why uni is special we're always here striving for finding the best brand, the quality, their effect. Um, so Yumi was one of the reasons why that it was great. So um, Yumi is a treatment in addition to having your lashes lifted. Yumi does have um, keratin inside to um, nourish your lashes, to make your lashes more hydrated. The effect of Yumi lasts about eight to 12 weeks, depending on the condition of your lashes. We can go from really nice flare to extension looks based on the lashes that we have. When people come with damaged lashes from uh, different reasons, we are able to treat with Yumi. It will require a little bit more treatments than just one to see full effect, but it does help to make them stronger, healthier, more, um, more effective, like with keratin mascara or with like regular mascara, you will see more uh, of your lashes. It will be very easy to work with. Um, if you will think about um, comparing um, Yumi lashes with, with extensions, Yumi lashes are much less maintenance. 
you come every eight to 12 weeks um, and we relieve them with, um, and we work with your natural lashes. Instead of extensions, we actually work with your natural lashes by adding additional false lashes, whether it's mink, depending on silicone, whatever, whatever people use for um, extensions. And the upkeep usually takes about every two to three weeks and you have to be pretty regular about it. Um, with Yumi, you don't have that, but also you have the fact of making your lashes healthier. We have clients who come to us for about two years every two months and they're so happy. We see a lot of um, lashes get recovered, lash the lashes start being healthier, and just the effect is better and better and better with every time. Mm -hmm. So you would recommend a lash lift for, or I guess you would recommend lash lift for people who want kind of a more natural looking longer lashes. Um, and you, and for, I know you told me this last time, but for people with um, different kinds of lash lengths, the lifts are going to look different for everyone, correct? Yes, that's yeah. correct. Uh, so with again, we can go with from really nice flare to extension look based on the lashes which we work with. However, with more, the more you do it, because it's a treatment, the more healthier your lashes become. So we have, sometimes we change pads, sometimes we change times, because lashes like literally change in front of our eyes. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. <laughs> so for my lashes, they look super short, but the last time she did them, she actually said that they're pretty long. Um, so luckily, whenever she did it, my eyelashes looked super long and super flared up. I'm sure you guys scroll through my Instagram kind of like a couple months ago, you can see like how, how lifted and long they were. Um, so I was really happy and they lasted a really, really long time. Like they lasted almost a whole two months mm -hmm. and just a couple weeks ago, they started to go down, I mm -hmm. noticed. Yeah. So it's really, really worth it. Um, the maintenance is super low. Like after um, the first 48 hours where you can't get them wet, um, I could just do whatever. I didn't put mascara on for the first couple weeks because I didn't feel like I, need, I needed to. And then after that, I started doing it and it didn't do anything to my lashes. My lashes didn't fall out. It was a really, really comfortable process. So I highly recommend it. So does she. <laughs> All right guys, so these are my lashes. They look so good. Um, my eyes still have like a little bit of the like solutions and stuff, but um, I just need to make sure to brush them out a little bit throughout the day. So, cause when you have monolids, they like kind of push down and they make the lashes look a little wonky right there. So I like to brush them out and then I'm not supposed to get them wet for 48 hours. But yeah, they look so good. I forgot how, how amazing they looked like right when I get them done. Thank you. <laughs> and now you're back. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna answer some questions that I had slash you had about lash lifts. So a big question I got asked was why I got the lash lift and it was because I, I just felt really insecure about my eyes at the time and that feeling is always there but it definitely comes and goes in waves. Like right now I'm definitely not as insecure about them as I was last fall and one thing i really hated about my eyes is the fact that every time i curled my lashes and put mascara on them i couldn't even see that it was there um and everyone else all the other girls like they can just put on mascara and have these really beautiful long lashes and I just, I was getting frustrated that I couldn't have that because I couldn't find a way to make them stay curled and stay up. And so that was kind of the reason I wanted to try the lash lift. Um, second was because I was about to go on a trip to Asia and I thought it would be nice for me to have my lashes lifted so I wouldn't have to worry about curling them and putting on, um, and going through the curling mascara ordeal and I could just have my lashes lifted and put mascara on if I wanted to without having to mess with the curler. I also wouldn't have to think about putting on false lashes and blah, blah, blah. So that was kind of the reason I did it. Now that I've gotten it a second time, I don't think that they, so I think the first two weeks I had them the first time, I was in Asia, so I was super confident in them. I love the way they look and um, I was so happy with them. Um, but in terms of daily life, <coughs> I think my mind was adjusting to me having my lashes lifted and so I wasn't noticing them anymore. So I was kind of falling back into the hole. Oh, my eyes really, I don't really like them, blah, 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 blah. So I'm starting to realize the whole me not really liking my eyes thing is definitely 
my mind and my perspective. I don't know if this is making any sense, but I'm kind of still trying to figure out myself Ah, okay, I don't want to talk about this because this is about the lash lift. So anyways, that's why I got my lash lift. Second question I had slash was asked is if it hurt, like if it burned or anything, or if it was uncomfortable, or if my lashes fell out or anything like that afterwards, and no. So it doesn't hurt at all. Um, the process took like... 40 minutes I think um, it's really relaxing you just lay down and she puts stuff on your eyes and it kind of goes by kind of quick I'm trying to remember the experience I had the first time and how I felt and all I can remember was that it was easy and really relaxing and afterwards I the two months that I had it the first time my lashes didn't fall out at all and there was no damage to them. They were still just as long as they were before. I had a really, really good experience with that. Um, and then another question I got was how long do they last? And they last around two months. Mine started falling down at the one and a half mark. They were starting to kind of go down a little bit. Um, and then at the two month mark, they were a little bit still lifted, but they were definitely going back to their more um, normal shape. So the post-op care for your lashes right after you get them done is you just can't get them wet for 48 hours. Um, that is the only big thing that you have to make sure to do because after those 48 hours, you can wash your face take a shower whatever you can put on mascara you can put on eye makeup um you can take off your makeup with your cleansing bombs and everything like that you can do whatever but those first 48 hours are important because the stuff that she puts on your lashes they have to really soak into your lashes so that they can really last as long as possible and this seems kind of hard if you're thinking about it because you want to take a shower you want to wash your face and go to sleep and everything um but what I did was I uh, I kind of planned it. So I tried to have my appointments in the morning. So then I would just work out, do whatever I need to do in the morning. And then I would take a shower before I went and then dry my hair and then I would go. And then I wouldn't wash my hair that night. I would just wash my body. So what I would do is I would wash my face in the sink, but I would wash it like this where I would like splash water on my face just right here and then um, I would wash it and dry it and then I would do the second part right here and I was really careful I would cover like this and splash water and then rub soap here and then dry it just to avoid contact with my eyes and whenever I'd go in the shower I would just wear a shower cap to not get any on my hair since I had just washed it and then um, I would just like stick my head out of the out of the shower range and I would just wash my body like this so it was a little bit difficult, but not bad at all um, when you're actually doing it. So 48 hours is a small price to pay because it really does last a really long time afterwards. Hi. <laughs> so I came in closer so you could see what my lashes looked like on my eye shape. So I specifically chose Skinnovation because I had saw that she had done monolid eyes or Asian hooded eyes before. That was really important to me because I know our eye shape is different and that's probably gonna warrant a different technique in terms of how she lifts the lashes. And she did a really good job on the other example photos that she had and so I decided to go to Skinnovation. So this is what it looks like. They're a little bit like crossed over and clumped up because I haven't brushed through them or anything, but I'm not wearing any uh, mascara or eye product at all. This is just what they look like. She did a really, really good job. I think that my lashes look really wispy and really natural. I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is after a month I had gotten them done. I'll insert a clip of what happened after a week right now. Hi guys. So this is what my lashes look like it's been a couple weeks since i got them done they're still very lifted you can tell i seriously love getting these eyelash lifts because they just make it so easy whenever i do my makeup and stuff but yep i will get back to you in a month so last I'm going to talk about pricing and it's $185, which I know is a lot, <laughs> but honestly, I think it's really worth it if you want to try it out and you want to be safe with your lashes um, and you want them to kind of be worth the money because they do last a really long time. I'm actually looking at their website right now. It says limited time special, $160. So you can save some money if you want to go right now. 
But anyways, I hope that this was helpful, especially for you guys who do have monolids and were struggling to figure out which one that you wanted, extensions, perms, or lifts. Um, I would, in my opinion, I would do a lift because I think that they look more natural. They're a lot safer and healthier for your eyes. Um, I will say that she did tell me, and I can't remember if she said this already, but um, extensions are definitely for people who want, for people who want a, a lot more of a dramatic eye look. So lash lifts are more for just enhancing the way your lashes look. So um, for me, I didn't want anything too heavy on my eyes or too dramatic. I really wanted something light and natural and that's what a lash lift does. And the outcome of your lash lift is going to depend on the conditions of your lashes. So when I walked in, I had never gotten extensions, perms, or anything done on my lashes. And when she saw mine, she's like, wow, they're so long and healthy and they're gonna look great. And so whenever she did them, my lashes actually came out looking super long and just very lifted um, which was really nice um, if you have shorter lashes um, they're still gonna look nice I think but they're not gonna be super long or anything but in my opinion if you do have short lashes um, I would just maybe try getting the lash lift and then at least you'll have the curl and then you can just put on mascara because that's what I do. I just really enjoy having that curl and if I want to go out and have a little bit more of a dramatic eye look, I'll just take some mascara and put some on and that way I don't have to do the whole curling my lashes thing. So maybe try that, but I just wanted to mention that because not every lash lift is gonna be the same even though we have the same eye shape. This is kind of a general feel of how it would look if your eye shape is like mine, but again, it's super dependent on the conditions of your lashes. But anyways, I hope that this video was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any other questions and I'll try and answer them down below. And if any of you guys have gotten lash lists before, you can answer those questions too. It's a group effort. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Doo.